I've been quite blown away by um, the response uh, in the States. Really just been positive from the word go. Um, I started in the West Coast, um, sort of San Diego, LA, San Francisco, which was all great. And I've gradually come across to, we were in Toronto, I think it was the last gig. And that was good. They were kind of quiet at first and by the end it all went mad. So it's good. I, I mean, I just expected to play to just a few people. This was just the chance for me just to kind of come and start playing in some of the new songs and um, all of that, and it would all be low-key, and it's kind of getting a bit mad, really, which is good. It always has been, and it even is just with an acoustic, so I'm happy. just went for a lot of money on eBay. You're kidding? Mm -mm. Oh, they don't do that. I can burn them off a copy because I have got a little burner. I'm getting better with my computer so I can right. burn the other CD. No, I think that's great. But it was, I think it was $80 for the... Crikey. I'm not sure. Was there a seven inch or was it just a promo single CD or... It was just a... It was a... Yeah, I mean, the, the actual CD, it was just that track and another track. And um, I think it was just a CD. But it did also come out on like a shifty disco compilation mm -hmm. but what I'm going to do is definitely have it as an extra track or as part of the album because I really like that song cool. so it will kind of so the come album to that means there is an album and there's going to be an album it's going to be an album yeah do you know? I don't know who with yet or 
I mean, I'm hoping that um, I'm going to speak to a few people um, at the end of the tour, um, and I might do something sort of direct with an American sort of label, mm -hmm. um, probably independent. I don't, I don't really know yet, but um, there's a few people I'm going to speak to, um, and if that all goes well, then it will kind of be out, I guess, uh, early next year, hopefully. Um, I've got quite a lot of tracks for it. I still need to do a bit more work. Um, will you come back? Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping. I mean, I might even come back and do a handful of shows in the fall with um, this backing band called Gold Rush because we're going to do some dates when I go back to England, and um, they're really good. And basically, that that works really well together. So there's there's talk about that. I mean, there's a lot of talk at the moment. So, but I mean, I, you know, it won't be ten years anyway. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs>
I've been in medieval France for too long, you see. It's like too many chickens and sort of strange French farmers with baguettes under their arms. So. And they don't have computers in medieval France. They don't even right? know. My neighbours don't even know what a computer <laughs> is or an internet. He knows what a tractor is and he knows how to make really good wine. <laughs> but if you take him a computer, it's like... Hey, it's that made... brings up something. We have a gift for you. Ah! Ah, uh, from France. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually not from France. No. It's from California, I think. Oh, well. <laughs> Even better. Someone recommended it. Excellent. Thank you very much. A little birdie told me that you like Merlot. I do. I, I've been... I've, this has been the Merlot tour. Really? Yeah, it kind of, in a way. I mean, I'm not, I'm not supposed to drink beer anymore, so right. I have a thing with yeast, and it's not a good thing. Right. So wine's pretty good. Well, there's, it's organic. That's good. Even better. <laughs> Don't panic. It's organic. That's even better. <laughs>